So I'll just go ahead in the file settings section that I mentioned, and what I'll do is click on people in your organization with the link can view. And you'll see now this notification that shows me that uh, people in the organization will be able to access the file. So I'll click on allow. And it's pretty instant. Now you see that the file has been updated to work for anyone in the organization with the link in view. So I'll take a look at my chat with Kat. And I did promise her this link. So let's see. So what I'll do is two ways that I could go about this. I could just copy the link and give her the access from here. Or one of my favorite features that we're announcing today is that you can just go ahead and uh, grab the URL from the browser, and it'll just work. So let me show you how that looks like. Uh, so here it is, Kat. The link is ready. I now get a nice preview of this file so that I can confirm and have the confidence that this is the right file that I'm sharing with Kat. Here is Kat's account. She's now seeing the link, and I'll click on it. And guess what? It just works. She has access. And I'll show you something even cooler. Uh, as Kat, I now go to the share experience. And what I see is exactly the same experience. Uh, so there's that confidence again that if Kat was to copy the link and, or share the address bar URL, she would be able to pass around the same link with the intended permission that I shared with. And so sharing with people inside of your organization has never been easier. I'll switch back to now a recap. Uh, the hero link is secure by default. As you've seen, it started with only people added until I choose to broaden up the access and configure it. And now I am able to see that there is only one link that rules all the access for the file that takes that control and makes it so much easier for you to update that hero link. You can also share your files with just grabbing the URL from the browser, and it'll just work. And what is fantastic about this change is that the same way that you're copying the link, you're sending that link through email, or you're copying it from the browser URL, it is the same link. It'll just work.